about Survivor now. Um, in 1982, you had possibly the the most famous song in the world. With yeah. I have the tiger. Uh, yeah. How did that yeah. change your world? You know, I, I called the, the the phone call that changed my life. It was uh, I got home one day, my house in the Grange, Illinois, and I had an answering machine, and I pressed it, and I heard a couple of messages, and I hear one that stopped me cold. Hey, yo, Jim, give me a call. It's Sylvester Stallone. You know, I go, yeah, right. You know, somebody's putting me on. Uh, but I called him back. I said, Is this this Jim Peterick? Is this really Sylvester Stallone? Hey, yeah, call me Sly. <laughs> You know, so here's me, kid from Berwyn, Illinois, talking to my hero, who was already a hero of mine because of the first Rocky, and then the second Rocky. He says, I got this song, I got this movie called Rocky Three, you know. And I, I could use that song, Gonna Fly Now, but I don't want to. I want something new, something fresh, something for the kids, you know. And I like that song, You Guys Got Vehicle, when you were at the Ides of March. I love that song. Can you write us a, a song for uh, Rocky Three? And uh, I said, sure, you know. He sent us the rough cut of the movie, and I called up Frankie Sullivan, who by that time was my lead guitarist with uh, Survivor. We rented a big old Betamax Pro, you know, took up the whole table. And uh, we, we stuck in the big cassette, and uh, we turned on the sound because there was another song that was temporary music, as they call it, uh, which was called Another One Bites the Dust. So we turned that sound down. And uh, I had my guitar pick and a guitar similar to this, not the fancy tiger stripe, but I just started going, you know, like that. And um, about two days later, I was driving in the car and I said, you know, we got to score those punches. And I went, <laughs> you know, I said, hmm. So I went back to the, uh, what is it? Back to the drawing board. Yes, that's it. And called Frankie back. And by this time, Stallone sent us the whole movie, which was necessary. He only sent us the first three minutes initially. And uh, there was no story. You know, there was Mr. T rising up, and there was um, Stallone getting kind of soft and doing MasterCard commercials. And okay, I get that. But we really needed to see the whole movie. So finally, he sent it, which he wasn't supposed to do. And that's when we got the whole gist of the Stallone was losing, you know, Sly was losing his edge, and his trainer Mickey uh, was saying, "Sly, you're losing, you're losing it, you're losing the eye of the tiger, eye of the tiger." We got our title. So that's when the whole story, uh, you know, really unfolded for us. And two days later, we had the song demoed. It Stallone goes, "Holy, you know." He, he flipped out, and um, he actually ended up using the demo in the movie. There's two recordings. People don't know that, but we, we demoed it in like, you know, two days, and boom, went out. It was fantastic. And uh, we said, well, it's just a demo. He said, no, no, I need it for the movie now, you know. So that's a different version. So then when we went into uh, the studio to cut the album, we recut it because we wanted a better sound and everything. It took us a month to re-record it's called chasing the demo. It's going, you know, that initial magic, you get so excited. But we finally got it, plus we got the big sounds. And, you know, what surprises me is not that it went number one on Billboard for five weeks that year, but that in 2018, it's still around. And it's still making a difference. You know, it's, I get the stories every day, and that's the real royalties of this uh, story.